when I left South Africa, you only have one hour. <laughs> my man, yeah. So mm. when when I left when I left that place, I then came back to South Africa, and I reunited with my boyfriend. We got married, but remember what he said to me the first time. The first time I was called Five Story. Mm. Uh-huh. All these girls here are spiritually connected to me. So I got married. Four months after saying I do, my husband dies. Yeah, it's not going to go through. Yeah. And at that time I was pregnant. So my husband dies and my son does and I'm, I give birth to a boy <laughs> who does not know his father, never seen his father. <laughs> so when my husband dies, I phone who? Daddy. Daddy, my husband has passed on. Says, "Ah, uh-huh, sickle, sickle, you don't listen." Then I didn't understand what that mean. Then he says, uh-huh, "When your son turns six months, bring him." So indeed, when my son turned six months, me and my son flew to Nigeria to go and see T.B. Joshua, because he said he wanted to pray against the spirit of premature death. But when I was there, my son was not even on me. The whole time I was being vacuumed. And then I came back to South Africa and then I continued with life thinking I'm out of that church, I'm enough, you know, I'm grand. Got married again. First marriage was four months. Got married again and I remember sending him an email saying I'm going to get married, da, da, da. and this time I married a guy who himself was a widower. So he lost his wife and he meets me, I lost my husband. He's got two kids, I've got one child, we merge, we get married, nice. This marriage lasted for about but during the time I was married with him that's when the building collapse happens. And when the building collapse happens, TV Joshua calls me. Eh, uh, sickle. I need you to go to Ravonia, go pick up money. Money is coming. And then I was given names, addresses of people, not just me, a group of us to go around paying the victims. Like if your child died at synagogue, we come we visit you. Every province around South Africa where there was a person who was yeah, a victim. Yeah. We were giving the monies, dishing out the monies in those Konzakaya bags mm. and giving the speeches. We were even the ones planning the party for the matires, saying they've done in the died in the hands of the Lord. They are matires, they this. But what was we in South Africa doing that? But what was happening there you're going to hear it in the documentary from the five story boys mm. to show you that it was not an accident. And to show you that he was not even remorseful. You'll hear it on the documentary because I never saw that side. Mm. So after that whole thing and everything, um, life happened, building collapsed, da 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 da. Life happened, then my husband dies. My second husband second dies. Husband. Yeah. After how many months you did together? He died after we were together for five years. And guess what happens? After he dies, yet again, he pays for tickets for me to bring my kids to Nigeria. So I take both my kids to Nigeria and they go and see TV Joshua. I've got pictures, I've got everything. And my kids are there and for me it's he's taking away the spirit of premature death. And after some time, and I remember when I took my daughter, my daughter my son, he said, hey, "I told you." He had a meeting with all the sisters. I had tell sister Sikle. Hey, does anybody here get married without my approval? No, daddy. Eh? Uh-huh. Why? Because we are disciples. Sickly, you're stubborn. You are very stubborn. I didn't get it then. Because yes, there were only about two marriages while I was there, yeah, which was and he approved of them, where he match fixes you, disciples to disciple. Mm-hmm. So I didn't get it then until when we were doing the documentary and until when bbc made us do the reunion and when we started seeing how our stories collaborated because remember at that time we couldn't tell each other what was going on it's only now where you like oh, even you oh, even me even you like we we all shocked at all of this mm. it's only then you realize that that is why all the disciples now that he's dead they're suddenly they getting, married. getting married because now he's dead then there's no connection. There's no more connection. So they're all suddenly running around getting married. All of them are getting married now like a, as if it's it's a new fashion to get married. You know? Because they couldn't... And, 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 and so, you, you are risking someone's child is going to die. Because yeah. You know, and they're all going to get married. And here it is and I'm sitting there. I'm like, oh, I hate that guy. 
I'm thinking, oh wow, I hate that guy. Do you know when we, when I had to literally sit down with my kids mm. and apologize to my son and my daughter and say, I'm sorry I took you to that church. I'm sorry I didn't know better. Mm. I'm sorry this is what happened to me. And when we were watching the preview of the documentary last week mm. and they saw and heard for themselves, I said to them, I'm very, very sorry. I didn't know. And somebody was saying to me, no, you must take them for deliverance. I'm like, I'm not taking my kids for any There's deliverance. No thing, yeah. I said, I'm in pursuit of finding the real God. Mm. If God can speak to Ricky and speak to someone else, Nami, let me have my own personal encounter. Mm. Do we go to church? Yes, my mm. kids and I go to church. Mm. But we don't go to those crazy churches that keep you the whole day. Mm. We do go to church. Do we pray? Yes, we do pray. Mm. Do we believe there's a God? Yes, definitely. You know why? Mm. The fact that I don't have AIDS today, mm. there, definitely, then there's a God that's been protecting me. Mm. The fact that I'm still alive today, mm. 